when someone's being racist, right? Like they have no love in their heart. They like because how can you? How? What? What did I? What did I do to you? There's, what did I ever do to you? There's a lack of compassion. There's just a lack of compassion, and I just feel like people just need more um, love in their hearts, bro. Because like if you if there, if there's more love, there's more compassion. If there's more love, there's more empathy. If there's more love, then you're 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 now under you're coming from a place of understanding, right? Like mm-hmm. if 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 you have hatred in your heart, then you will never get off my neck if I say I can't breathe. I feel you. Love is important. I don't want love. I want your respect. I want your respect. I want your acknowledgement. I think. I, I think. Of, that, I, th- I think it comes. I think it comes. No, it's different. Because there are there are literally white slave owners that w- that would tell you they love their slaves. So for me, fuck love. I don't want that. And I'm not. I'm not demeaning it. Love is great. Feels great to be in love. Love is great. Love is awesome. <laughs> I've got. I've got love for my for my friends. I got love for you. I got love for my family. Um, but I want respect. Like I don't. I don't want the love. Of the police, I want. I don't want the love. The respect. I, I, don't, I don't want. want I don't want. When I, when I say I want love, right? Uh-huh. Is like I want. I want us to be at a place where, with this love, like if I love you, I respect you, right? Yeah, I mean, I understand where you're. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I think of it a little bit differently, because right. I because I think I think it's like relationships. Like you could love somebody and not respect them. It's yeah. You could say you're in de- you're you're deeply in love with somebody and and do things and 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 show ways that you don't respect them. I don't them. know. I don't know. I don't know if you're. See, that's the thing. I don't know if you're deeply in love with someone if you don't respect them. You can be. I don't know if you can do that. You can. I don't know. If, I don't know if what you're in is deeply in love. Because if you're deeply in love, then you deeply respect me as well. It, eh, yeah. Eh, yeah. Shaky. Maybe. Maybe. I get. Ulti- where, no, I get where you're coming from. Ultimate though. love. Ultimate love. I don't know, man. I haven't, I haven't been, I, for me on social media today, like, you know what my shit has been about. Like, I've been posting Malcolm X speeches. Like, I, I, like I said, I want people to shit to get off the pot. Like, pick a side. Like, we're, like, who are you with? And it's not about politics. It's not about Democrat. It's not about Republican. It's about who is going to make sure that people get held accountable when they fuck up. When they fuck up and they kill black men and black women. Or when they let black men and black women die. No, 100% accountability. When, like, where, where, where is the person? Where, when is the power structure child, going child to acknowledge like that? A criminal. And go to jail for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah. And lose your pension. Yeah. And, and put people in positions when it comes to law enforcement that know the law. You know, like, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm all about paying cops more money. I'm all about paying teachers more money. I'm all about service people making more money. But then you also have to raise the standard. The standard. The standard of police standard officer. The standard of teacher. The standard of anything. How you operate. How you make arrests. Exactly. How you treat your, 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 the people, the citizens. Um, right. And I've, never, the standard. and I've never understood why the young, hot-headed police officers are always in the, um, like the toughest neighborhoods. Like Put the older, veteran, people who can talk communicate de-escalate right. put them in those situations right. it has to be a, there has to be a um there has to be a, a way a system in which they treat this like a business right you're gonna put your your best in the neighborhoods that need it that need it the like most your sharpest your 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 most respectful your most personable your most likable you know those people not not the guy who's easy to the hotheads that's the that's, one who had like how often do we see cops already have cases? The same cop who gets into some shit always has already a case that he's already fighting already. So yep. it's like, and his boss did nothing about it, and that prosecutor right. did nothing about it. That attorney, that mayor, that governor did nothing about it. More accountability, definitely more accountability. More realizations of the fact that shit is not okay and it's not good. And if you're post- posting all lives matter. Or it's a bunch of fuck. If 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 you and if you you and your white friends are like out here holding hands, singing kumbaya, like it's not about that right now. It's not a, it's not about that unity shit. It's about accountability. It's about change. It's about change that can happen very 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 quickly. It's about police officers that go to jail for killing people. That's what it's about. Like it's it's not yeah. it's 
I don't want to hold your hand. I want to see some shit happen. I want to see some change. I want to see you. I want to see those other three people. Exactly. I want, I, want, I want accountability. I want to see you as a person and as a company acknowledging that this is fucked up. But not for now, up. though. I want, I want a, a change that, that is lasting. That the, way, that the way things are being done and conducted will be changed forever. Right? Like, I don't want them to just give us a quick Band-Aid fix. I want them to fix the problem. But how long is it supposed room. to take? Them niggas have 400 years. How long is it supposed to take? And you had people that gave you hints that this was fucked up long oh, time ago. You, you have reminders yearly. And starting from Brooker T. Washington to W.E.B. E. Du Bois all the way to Malcolm and Martin, Medgar Evers and, and Fred Hampton and all those dudes. Like, we, they, they told you. That this was fucked up. They told you that yeah. this would happen. They told you Tech that is. at a certain point in time, we're not going to want equality. We're going to want revenge. And we're getting closer and closer. Extremely close to that. I don't want this to happen, but when this officer, I don't even want to say his name. I know his name. I'm not going to say it, though. When this officer that murdered George Floyd, when his case comes up and the news comes up and all these other bad things about George Floyd are brought up in the news which is to, you know put, to yeah to make for no reason to make it seem like he deserved to die or when this guy when this officer is is painted as this pillar of the community or eventually is acquitted or eventually gets to go back home to his family y'all things things are not going to go well that day yeah, no that day will be they got to do the right thing like you said Hopefully, it is a, a a realization that we're hearing these statements from Joe Biden and these different companies and these different politicians or even a lot of police officers that have been speaking up that we've never heard speak up before. Maybe it does spark more of a of a permanent improvement right. in the accountability and, and the value of black lives, but uh, history dictates that might not be the case. <laughs> no, based on history. Based on a uh, few thousand years. 